Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Amber from Unique Upcycles and today I'll be trying out Milk Paint for the first time. Um, I've never used this product before and there was definitely some struggles. So stick around if you want to see how I worked through those. Um, also, I did watch several YouTube videos before I attempted this. One that I found really helpful uh, was from Katie by Salvage by K. Scott. So I will be sure to link that video in the description below so you can check that out. She definitely has way more experience than me with using milk paint. Remember to like and subscribe so you can get future notifications. I would be posting videos weekly and let's go ahead and get started. This is what I'll be working on today. It is solid wood, very heavy, and in overall pretty good condition. I'll start by cleaning my piece with a pre-mixed TSP substitute. I'll clean the inside and out of the entire dresser. No telling where it goes. Driving through I think that this originally had a mirror connected to it, so I'm going to go ahead and use some wood filler to fill in those holes where it would have screwed in, as well as any other damage. After the wood filler is dry, I'll sand it smooth with the sanding sponge. While cleaning the bottom, I realized that there was four screw holes on the legs where there was originally casters. I will be replacing those. The drawers were fitting really tight. They didn't slide easily in and out, so I went ahead and sanded all the sides of the drawers uh, to make them a little bit smoother and they could slide in and out a lot better. There was a little section of veneer right here that was coming off, so I took my wood glue syringe and just put some glue in, clamped it down, and I let it dry overnight. After the glue was dry, I removed the clamp and I like to keep my edges paint free so I went ahead and just taped everything off with frog tape. Trust in our wings to fly. I'll be using Shakto Interior's Milk Paint in the color Shoreline. You want to mix an equal ratio of water to paint powder. Um, I just started with three quarters of a cup. I did end up using the entire bag for this project. You want to let it sit for 15 minutes after you mix it up so it can thicken up to the consistency that you need. Shakto Interiors does sell zebra paint brushes on their website, so I figured that would be the best option to use. I'm using my Zebra Palm Pro for this. With milk paint, it is a lot thinner than chalk paint, so it is pretty watery, so you do want to keep an eye out for runs and drips. My head high. Milk paint is really unpredictable. Use a 50-50 shot if you are going to get a chippy crackly look or if it's just going to adhere. If you don't want the chippiness, you can definitely add a bonding agent to the paint. I was going for that distressed look, so I did not add it to it. This was my first time using milk paint and I wasn't 100% sure what to expect. You can see that as I paint over that section where I wood filled, it's reactivating the wood filler, it's turning purple again. I decided to just skip over those sections and just paint the rest of the top and I would try to figure out what to do after I was done with that. Here's a close up of that one section that I painted over. You can see that the wood filler has completely reactivated. While I let that wood filler section dry again, I'm just going to complete the first coat on the entire piece. I'm going through with my Zebra Palm Pro over the entire thing. I'm also painting on the insides of the edges of where the drawers go because you can see a little bit of that wood once the drawers are put back in. Side note, milk paint does contain real milk, so you'll want to store your paint in the refrigerator in between coats to prevent it from spoiling. And I've been trying to fill the void, but my bed is I'm applying my shellac based primer to the top of the wood filled sections to see if that will seal it. This is what it looks like after the first coat has completely dried. It's really streaky and really thin. I ended up doing a total of four coats which used the entire bag of paint. This is a section that I had wood filled. I then primed over it and did a coat of paint over the top of it and still ended up with the bleed through from the purple wood filler. So plan B is going to be to go over it with just straight shellac and then primer on top of the shellac to see if that will seal it in. I'm now starting the second coat of paint and as you can see it's already giving a lot more coverage than the first one did. Also the primer shellac primer combo did seal in the wood filler. I would just recommend not using a purple to natural drying wood filler, just use an all natural color. This is what the top looks like after the second coat. I'm starting to get some texture and a little bit of chippiness on this. I ended up getting a few spots of bleed through on the front leg, so I'll seal those with some shellac before I put on my next coat of paint. 
I mixed up the remaining paint that was left in the bag and I'm applying the fourth and final coat. It was about $20 for this bag of paint and it's obviously just enough to do this one piece. I don't know if it's exactly cost effective for flipping furniture, but it's something I wanted to try for a while so it was worth the investment for me. Now I'm just waiting for love, waiting for love, try to forget. Like I said earlier, you have a 50-50 shot if this milk paint is going to chip or not. It really just depends on the original finish that's on your piece. I tried scraping it with like a putty scraper and that wasn't really doing much and so I just decided to go with the sanding pad and distress it as much as I could, try to sand off any of that texture to get any chippiness. I repeated the same process on one of the large drawers and had a little bit better luck but still was not getting that whole kind of chippy thing I was going for. I had a little bit better luck with the top as there was a lot more texture that formed. It still wouldn't scrape off with a putty knife, but it sanded down um, pretty well and so I did get a little bit of the chippy effect on the top. I zoomed in so you could see a little bit of that distressing that came out. I found the same casters that I needed to replace the missing ones and I just screwed them into all four legs. I'll be sealing my paint with Dixie Belle's Big Mama's Butter in the scent Orange Clove. This stuff smells really good. You're going to want to apply it with a cloth or a brush in circular motions. Once you've applied it over your whole section, you want to wipe it back in just single directions across to get a smooth finish without any streaks. Behold when sealing milk paint, you want to either use a wax or an oil. You don't necessarily want to use a top coat as most of them are water-based and the water will reactivate the milk paint itself. Final step is to line the drawers and add the knobs back in and put it all back together. And this is the final look. Once again, I'll link all products that I used in the description box for you. Found what we're looking for in life. Crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you want to see more videos of furniture makeovers, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, oh, oh.